For this lesson, we're going to take a look at rate, time, distance problems. And hopefully, as you recall, uh, we know that distance that someone travels is equal to their rate times their time. So for example, if somebody walks uh, at a rate of five miles per hour uh, for two hours, we know that their total distance would be 10 miles. So that's uh, what we're talking about here. Rate times time equals distance. Well, here we have a situation where we have two people, Brent and Jane. They're starting at noon, 60 miles apart. So Brent is going this way and Jane is going this way. And their total distance is uh, 60 miles. So they're 60 miles apart in total. And they are riding towards each other and they're meeting at 1.30 p.m. Uh, Brent's speed was four miles per hour faster than Jane's speed and we need to each find our speeds. And there's a hint here to let Jane's speed equal R. So I have a chart here. I'm gonna have Jane's speed be R and Brent is four miles per hour faster. So that would be R plus four. And do we know how long they were, were traveling for? Well, it said that they are starting at noon and they're meeting at 1.30. So that'd be an hour and a half worth of travel time. So I'm gonna write 1.5 for the time in both of these. And we know that rate times time equals distance. So I'm just going to multiply across here on my chart. We'd have 1.5 times the quantity R plus 4 for Brent and 1.5 R for Jane. And now we need to come up with an equation. And in these situations we'll either have uh, people moving in the same direction or opposite directions or maybe there's a round trip. Here they're moving towards each other, but we have a total distance traveled of, of 60 miles. So Brent is traveling a certain distance and Jane is traveling a certain distance. And in total, they'll have traveled 60 miles. So what we want to do here is add our two distance amounts together. So the distance Brent traveled plus the distance Jane traveled, and that's going to equal 60. So we have 1.5 times the quantity R plus 4 plus 1.5 R equals 60. And so we're going to solve this by first of all distributing, uh, multiplying the 1.5 times the R and the 1.5 times the 4. So we have 1.5 R plus 6 plus 1.5 R equals 60. Combining the 1.5 R's, combining the like terms, we have 3 R plus 6 equals 60. And then we subtract 6 from both sides. We have 3R equals 54. And then if we divide both sides by 3, we get R equals 18. And we want to make sure we put units on this. Uh, it's miles per hour here, so 18 miles per hour. So maybe they were riding on uh, bikes and not in cars. Um, and we want to make, always make sure we answer the question that was asked. It says find their speeds. So this is Jane's speed. Jane's speed is 18 miles per hour. And Brent's speed was 4 miles per hour faster. So Brent's speed is 22 miles per hour. And I want to point out that the total speed there was combined speed would be 40 miles per hour if I add their two speeds together. Um, and if they travel 40 miles per hour for one hour, that would just be 40 miles. But if we travel 40 miles per hour in total for an hour and a half, we'd have a total of 60 miles traveled, which is the total distance traveled by Brent and Jane. So this is, is kind of like a check over here. Um, we're going to take a look at two other examples in class. Um, and I would like you to make sure you do the survey at tinyurl.